Hello, and welcome to this edition of the CSI podcast series. In this episode, we'll examine some best practices which could help prevent incidents on a network and mitigate the risk from a cyber attack. Ransomware incidents are on the rise due to expanding and complex network configurations. These incidents are costly and can also lead to long-term impacts on the nation's critical infrastructure. Hackers are becoming progressively more sophisticated. A lack of awareness of basic security practices can easily lead to a ransomware attack with irreparable damage. It is critical to track and monitor all infrastructure assets. Maintaining an accurate, well-documented, and continually updated inventory of all assets is essential to achieving an acceptable security posture. Not documenting and monitoring assets can easily lead to a vulnerable network. A compromise can easily occur due to misplacing just one asset. A combination of automated and manual techniques can help identify the assets as no one tool provides a full security posture of a network. This combination can provide the most accurate and up-to-date picture of an organization's assets. Any unpatched network device can lead to a compromise of the entire network. An attacker can exploit any vulnerable asset that has not been patched. Scans or audits must be conducted on a recurring basis using a combination of scanning tools. It is key to patch software and verify compliance via scans on a scheduled basis. Train system administrators have a role to play in the interpretation of data, especially sorting out false positives. A comprehensive scanning policy that dictates an accurate picture with the right combination of tools and procedures will lead to a hardened infrastructure. Hackers have the means to continuously scan a target organization and identify unsecured assets. Then, an unprotected device can be easily compromised with the attacker gaining root-level access to a, vi a device and eventually the network. A network has many entry points, especially with the usage of devices issued by multiple vendors that an attacker can exploit. A redundant network can reduce the chance of a breach. A single defense tool or software does not prevent incidents. A layered defense will delay a threat as well as enhance recovery mechanisms due to rapid notification. A combination of physical security mechanisms as well as intrusion prevention systems all enable a layered defense towards a secure network. Without a backup plan, recovery can be complex and time consuming. A contingency plan is key towards planning and recovering from a hacking event. A contingency plan must be dynamic and updated on a frequent basis. A continuity of operations COOP plan must capture a backup site that is logistically feasible, up and running, and can ensure mission continuation quickly. A COOP must be tested via mock exercises. FEMA has templates that can help an organization develop a, a COOP. The purpose of these templates is to provide instructions and guidance for the development of conting 
continuity plans and programs. When an organization can efficiently and effectively control, backup, and restore assets, it will be on stable footing to resist the onslaught of network attack attempts that occur every day. Any misunderstanding among stakeholders regarding the roles and responsibilities can have an adverse effect on the security of the organization's assets. The security responsibilities must be addressed with thorough clarity in order to avoid serious gaps in the oversight of mission-critical resources for an organization. A standard operating procedure, SOP, should capture details such as processes, roles and responsibilities, task timelines, as well as the points of contact responsible for compliance. Just documenting and assigning roles and responsibilities is not good enough. Managers and leaders must get involved to ensure that personnel have the required training and tools to accomplish the mission. This helps mitigate risk and human error in an effective manner. Approaching the complex problem of improving critical infrastructure security will require a whole-of-society approach. It is incumbent that we work together to protect and secure our vital national interests from threats both physical and cyber. Leaders need to ensure that the basic security measures outlined in this podcast are being implemented and enforced. On behalf of the CSIAC, we would like to thank you for viewing this podcast. We hope you found the content useful and informative. If you would like to provide feedback or comments, please visit our website at www.csiac.org, where you can also find additional content to review. Thank you. Did you know that CSIAC offers free monthly webinars featuring experts in the areas of cybersecurity, software engineering, modeling and simulation, and knowledge management? Come see leading industry professionals talk about industry practices and leading research. Make sure to visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars in order to subscribe to our mailing list and see when the next webinar series is available. There you can also watch previous webinar series to catch up visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars.